Hello everyone. You're joining a very special edition of On the Road to Freedom today. I'm going to share some of the personal side of walking through mile and going to heaven and some specific things that I know the Lord wanted you to hear. I hope the Lord lets Mylan see in the great cloud of witnesses, the new beginning of the ministry today and how we were able to honor him. So enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Mylon LeFevre and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and almost died from a drug overdose. Something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. Now years later, my wife Christy and I traveled the globe proclaiming God's goodness. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. Welcome to On the Road to Freedom. You've joined me in my Texas backyard. And the reason why this is so significant, these are the first of the shows that I've filmed without my honey since he went to heaven. He moved to heaven on September 8th, 2023. And you know what? He loved this backyard and he enjoyed it so much. He'd lay at the pool. You know, you guys may not know this about him, but he'd always say he preached better with the tan. <laughs> so we have a pool back here and he loved to lay by the pool and pray and praise the Lord. And he'd call people and minister to him. And, and it was just this special place was where he really enjoyed. And so we started because of that, we started on the road to freedom in this backyard six years ago. So the Lord prompted me that this would be the perfect place for my new beginning, for this new season with the Lord, because he's doing a new thing now. And we have recognized that and now we're giving heed to it. And we believe that God is making a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And also what's so fun today is we have a live studio audience. <laughs> I got my mom and dad here and they're being our intercessors on the side and cheerleaders, biggest cheerleaders. So I'm very thankful for them. And I want to encourage you today, Team Mylan, that the vision will continue. Mylan's vision to tell the world how good God is and how much he loves them will continue. And that's why I felt it so important to come now you know, Christy, isn't this a little early? No, the Lord spoke to me and he said, now I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Will you not perceive it and recognize it and give heed to it? That means you've got to apply action to what you believe and faith without works is dead. So one of the reasons why I said, yes, Lord, I'll start filming on this beautiful day. God gave us perfect weather and the team was available. It all worked out. Every detail worked out and he's with us now. You know, I just want to, encourage you with this. I thought these shows today might be really emotional and I might struggle getting through them because I would miss him. And I do. I miss him every day. I think about beautiful things about my honey and the wonderful gift of our 25 years together. But today in filming, this has had the opposite effect. It's made me feel close to him. And it's made me enjoy today all the memories that we've had of the last six years filming together. So praise God for that. I thought that would bless you, Team Mylan, to know that today has been so special. And I've just felt so close to him and all the memories are good memories because we serve a good God. And you know, he mentored me every day for 25 years and I made a promise to him that we would continue in the word. You know, that's the purpose for this show. John 8, 31 and 32, Jesus said, if you will continue in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Now, right now, more than ever, Jesus presented this question to me. Right now, when things may not make sense, right now, things are going on you don't understand. Will you continue in my word? When it looks like it didn't work, will you continue in my word? And so today, I want you to know as a step of my faith in obedience to the Lord today, 
I want you to know, Mylon Lefebvre Ministries, we are continuing. I am continuing in the Word. Will you make that decision with me now? So again, we're all on that road to freedom if we continue because we'll receive the truth of God's Word today. Right now in this show, we're about to receive truth that's going to make us free and free indeed. So praise God, let's jump into it. I want to encourage you with this. Mylon used to always say, say to me, when things would come up that we didn't expect, especially a time of crisis, for instance, COVID, everything shut down, what are we going to do? We're at home, all the churches we had booked were canceled, what are we going to do? He looked at me and he said, Christy, nothing has changed. And that's the title of today's show, nothing has changed. And none of this, Christy, caught God off guard. And His plan for us is still the same. Well, what plan is that? Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So I want you to know, of course, this was not the outcome that Mylon and I were expecting. But none of this caught God off guard and nothing has changed. His plans are still to prosper us. His plans are still of hope and a bright future. If you're facing an unexpected crisis right now, please let me encourage you. His prosperous plan for your future has not changed. And I want you to know I'm in this with you. I am standing with you that God is faithful and we will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. We're still on the road to freedom, declaring John 8, 31 and 32. We're still going to tell people how good God is and how much He loves them. We're still gonna reach the multitudes in the valley of decision, and we are still believing to reach one million souls for Jesus. How? How is that possible? Well, I wanna remind you of John 12, 24. It says, I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Now I want you to know that I have prayed that over my husband's home going, that he was a seed that was planted that will now result in a harvest of plentiful, plenty and abundance, even a million souls for Jesus. Will you join your faith with me for that? Because that promise is in the Word. And I'm believing that what's ahead for us is greater. This is a promise Mylon and I spoke continually. What's ahead is greater than anything we've known put together this f thus far. Why? Because Jesus is coming soon and He needs us to reach those multitudes in the valley of decision. They're making decisions right now. Will they choose Jesus? And we need to get the good news of the gospel to them so that they make the right decision. Amen? King Jesus is the only one who can turn this situation for good. What the enemy meant for bad, God will turn it for good. And glory to God, He is the one who I serve. Hallelujah. He's the one I serve. He's the God who can make a way where there seems to be no way. He's the way maker. He specializes in making a way where there seems to be no way. So moving forward, my job and yours is real simple. It's to believe. It's to judge Him faithful. And they asked Jesus, what is the work that you require? And Jesus said, this is it, believe. And so I want to encourage you right now to stay in faith that this situation right now, it's turning for good for the kingdom. I know that in the natural, we don't see how, we don't know when, but we know that it is His will. Hallelujah. You know, He brought me Mylon. I wasn't looking to marry a rock star. <laughs> Some of you may think that, but I wasn't. I wasn't even a fan of Mylon's music, believe it or not. I remember I had gone to a, a concert of his, and here's what I remembered. He rocked a little too much for me. And he used to tell me, well, Christy, I knew you weren't a fan because you weren't a rocker. He said, but that made me trust you even more. 
So he said, you like soft, pretty music. You like ballads. That's what he would tell me. So believe me, I was not looking to marry a rock star. But what I remember about his concerts, this is what I remember. He ministered. The part that, that touched my heart the most was what we did together the last 25 years was how he ministered the word. That's where God joined us together. And God gave me favor in his heart because God had a plan. And I want you to know God has a plan right now. And again, that plan is to prosper us. That plan is to give us a bright hope in a future. And you know, Mylon's testimony will endure. Why? Because love endures. And his testimony was a testimony of the great love of God that never fails. He was a man of faith, but praise God, he was a man of great love. If you saw the homegoing service, the celebration of his life, you heard that in the testimonies of those who spoke. John Cooper, Michael Howe, Keith Moore, Brother Copeland, they all shared how Mylon, yes, he was a man of faith, but he was a man of great love and great kindness. So his testimony will continue, and you'll hear me reference him continually in the upcoming shows, because those are all of my faith stories, right? That's my testimony, what God did for us in the last 25 years. And one of the promises that we claimed continually was our latter years will be greater than our former. Why? Because we go from faith to faith and we go from glory to glory. In Haggai 2.9, it says the glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, now get this, this is so good. I will give peace. Hallelujah. Boy, I take that. I take that. What's ahead is more of the glory of God and more of his goodness than we've ever known before. That's his promise. And a place of peace. Shalom. Nothing missing and nothing broken. And you know, I want to share with you, Pastor George, when we did the private graveside service, Pastor George, Pastor Terry, our pastors at Eagle Mountain International Church, they oversaw that graveside service. And Pastor George had a prophecy for me that I want to share with you now. It says, now the baton is being passed. The baton is being passed from heaven to earth. If Mylon were here right now, he'd be saying, Christy, you take this word. You take this word that we've given first place in our lives and final authority and you preach it. You preach it strong. You preach it accurately. You preach it with such an anointing and a boldness that lies within you. The valiant warrior that is in you. Ooh, praise God, I take that. You preach it. And the Lord is also saying to you, there are others who you are going to be able to minister to and help them through situations just like this. You are anointed. And today there is a new anointing that is coming upon you for the days ahead. So don't worry about it. Have no concern. The Lord is with you. He's in you and he's prepared you for such a time as this. Wow, I remember when Pastor George spoke that over me. And he also spoke about the show continuing and me continuing the vision that God had placed in our hearts, Mylon and I in our hearts. And so when I heard this word, boy, I just took it by faith. But I remember I wept when I received it. This encouraged me greatly, and I hope it does you, because the anointing, when you partnership with Mylon Lefebvre Ministries, the anointing on my life comes on your life when you partnership in prayer or in giving. That's what the word promises. And so this anointing, this new anointing, it's available to you too. So I join my faith with you, Team Mylon. Get ready for that new anointing. Get ready to see that valiant warrior that is in you rise up and be bold and be courageous in a way that you've never known before. <laughs> because that's what this season, the closer we get to Jesus' return, the bolder we're gonna need to be the more courageous we're going to need to be. So this is an on-time word from God that you can take also. So receive it by faith. If you need to rewind this and play it again, get this deep in your heart. Choose those areas that you need to take for yourself. Amen.
God said to go into all the world and make disciples. Yes. Teach and preach. That's how you do it. Yeah. And that's who we are and that's what we do. But we mm -hmm. can't do it by ourselves. Nobody mm -hmm. could. Jesus couldn't either. Mm -hmm. He had to have partners. We yeah. have to have partners. So that's why we have what we call Team Mountain. Yeah. If you want to go into all the world with us, if you yes. want to take a bunch of people to heaven when you go uh -huh. and not and, and, and you're not sure how to teach and preach, we'd like to volunteer to partner up with you. Yeah. God will do his part. We'll do our part. You do your part. You pray for us and you help send us. Yeah. We're here today in beautiful Big Sur, California. Beautiful. And we're, mm -hmm. we're making TV shows all day this week, mm -hmm. uh, every day. And then we go down to Los Angeles to preach. Everywhere we go, we help people to understand who yes. God is, how good how, He is, yeah, I mean, and how much He loves them. That's right. So if you want to be a part of that, you just go to Mylan.org and click on Team Mylan, and we'll send you out a free monthly ministry letter through email. And then also we make an agreement with you to stand with you in prayer that's for right. all of your dreams to come true. So let us know how we can pray for you. Also, if there's any story, if this broadcast has been a blessing to you, please let us know. Please share your story, your testimony. Email us at testimony at mylan.org. Let us know how we can pray for you. Yeah. If there's anything that we can join our faith with yes. in your life, it's wonderful when you become my partner, but I'm excited about being your partner. That's right. I'm about Amen. doing my part, joining my faith with yours yes. for your breakthrough, yes, for you yes. to see your dreams come true at yeah. your house, Amen. that it will be on earth at your house as it is, is in, in heaven. heaven. God bless you, man. Thanks for being a part of what God's doing in our lives. We're having a good time and we hope you are too. Have a great day. You know, months before Mylon moved to heaven, he said to me that God had instructed him to speak over me. You are my mighty woman of valor, of faith and of courage. That's why when Pastor George spoke that word over me about the valiant warrior that is in you, those were the words that my husband had spoke to me before he moved to heaven. I'm gonna say it again, you are, you take this for you. You are my, now you can put it this way, I am a mighty man or woman of valor, of faith and of courage. Now I know why Mylon spoke these words over me. Neither of us knew or expected him to go to heaven when he did. But I know now why he spoke these words because this season of my life is gonna require me to be very strong and very courageous. And by the grace of God, by His anointing, this new anointing, I can do it and you can too. Praise God. Three times God tells Joshua after Moses died and was stepping into his new season, God said three times, Joshua, be strong and very courageous. I'm gonna say it to you, be strong and very courageous. One more time, be strong and very courageous courageous. It's going to be required of us now in this season, right before the last of the last days before Jesus returns. But we can do this. We can do all things through Christ, the anointed one and his anointing, which strengthens us. That anointing abides in us and enables us and empowers us to do what we could not do in the natural. I could not do what I'm doing right now in the natural. I could not do this, but God, <laughs> but God. So let this be an encouragement to you, whatever you're facing today, you can do what God tells you to do. You can speak what God tells you to speak. You can go where God tells you to go. Why? Because you're anointed and you are a valiant warrior. Hallelujah. You know, right now we're facing a lot of things. I am in the natural that, that don't make sense. I don't understand, but that's how it was when I met Mylon. I was much younger. I'd never been in ministry. 
I'd never traveled. But if I had drawn back at any moment, I would have missed the plan of God. And so I'm encouraging you right now, refuse to draw back. I wanna make that commitment to you. I refuse to draw back. God said, if you draw back, my soul has no pleasure in that. But the word says, but we are not of those who draw back. We are of those who believe. Remember what I mentioned to you at the beginning of the show. We are of those who believe. So we move forward by faith. And this is real important in the midst of this testing of my faith. I had a lot of questions and God woke me up one morning and he said, stop asking questions. It will only lead to unbelief. The enemy wants to torment us with those questions. What if, why, here's a big one, why? What happened? But Jesus is the answer. So if we focus on him, and you know Jesus is the word. If we focus on him and his word, the answer will become bigger than the question. Now, I'd like to take credit for that line, but I got that from Pastor Terry. Isn't that a good one? (laughs) If we focus on him and his word, the answer becomes bigger than the question. Faith trust when it doesn't understand. Just like Brother Moore says, this is another opportunity for us to demonstrate that we trust in God. There is always a way to victory, but it will require our faith. Faith is still the key. Whatever's born of God overcomes this world and this is the victory that overcomes our faith. Faith is still the key to the victory. It's still the victory that overcomes. And the last instruction Mylon gave me on the day he went to heaven, he was so bold. He had been struggling some that day, but not when he said this to me. He looked at me and he pointed and he said, no fear, Christy, do not fear. Mylon knew that fear would contaminate my faith and affect me moving forward. So I'm gonna encourage you with this right now, the same instruction, no fear. Do not fear. Hallelujah. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give. So let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said I'm going to the Father. For my Father is greater than I. Now, I want to encourage you in this. Jesus said, I'm leaving you my peace. So don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let it be afraid. I'm going away to the Father. Now, the disciples said, you'll see in this passage, Jesus, we don't want you to go. But Jesus said, if you loved me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father. Why? Because we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So right now, I want you to know, because I love Mylon, and yes, I'm talking about him in the present sense, because he's not gone, I know where he is. He's not lost, he's in heaven. And he's not in my past, he's in my future. So if I love Mylon, I rejoice that he's with the Father, amen, hallelujah. Because to live is Christ and to die is gain, God said. And you know, what I noticed in this process is when my thoughts, focused on gain, what my husband has gained, his eternal reward, the soul winner's crown, his new body, his long black hair, (laughs) singing at the top of his voice again, laughing again. When I think of gain, when I focus on gain, nothing has changed. I'm at peace. But at the moment, my mind shifts to loss. Grief and sorrow are always the result. So I encourage you right now, whatever you're facing in the natural that looks like loss, if you'll focus your mind right now, set your mind on the things that are above. Mylon used to encourage me in this all the time, Christy. Set your mind on things above, on the good report. And I'm encouraging you in that right now. Set your mind on the good report, on the gain. 
God will turn that situation. He will turn it for your good, but he needs your faith to do it. So I'm in agreement with you right now. Nothing has changed. This did not catch God off guard. His plan for us is still to prosper us. We have a bright hope and we have a bright future in Him. I encourage you, let's make this declaration together. I will not fear. Any challenge I'm facing right now did not catch God off guard. Nothing has changed. God is honest. I have hope and a bright future because of His prosperous plan for me. Thank you, Jesus, for your perfect peace that the world cannot take away. Hallelujah. Oh, I just made myself happy saying that with you. So praise God, if you need someone to agree for a specific request, please contact us at prayer at mylan.org. We are here for you. This show is for you. And the product that I want to remind you of that's free is Mylan's teaching titled, God is Honest. That's where that basis of the first time he told me nothing has changed. It was based on this teaching God was revealing to him. God is honest. So check that out at our website at mylan.org. Also our podcast, Take the Word for the Week on the Go, available everywhere your favorite podcast is available. And Church on the Run, daily digital devotionals. Mylan would not want you to stop watching those cool devotionals on our Harley that took us five years to film. So check those out. And this closing line, I like to say this because these introductory shows in this new season God's doing, I checked it out and I've said this closing line with my honey 332 times. So I'd like for you to help me by saying it now. These faith resources I just mentioned to you are all ways for you to stay in the Word because that will keep you, here we go, on On the the road road to to freedom. freedom.